Stan, I've been looking for you for a long time. Please, listen to me. Believe, I wouldn't come to you if it wasn't important. Hello. I'm listening to you. I ask you to investigate a murder. I don't think it's my specialty. You better address the authorities. But it's an unusual murder. Most people would call me crazy if I told them, but not you. I ask you to go into my death. What do you mean? I'm afraid you are the last person I'm talking to. There is deadly poison in me. I can't get it out. I feel it spreading all over my body, penetrating into all my organs. My death is close, and the only thing I ask you is to find the murderer. It's my death wish. Don't worry for the reward. Whatever the result, it is waiting for you in the central bank. Tell me what's happened. I found out just a little. It's all in this folder. Please, take it. I am leaving. Sorry, I want to spend my last hours drinking. Goodbye. There is nothing worse than death but its expectation, especially for those who love their lives. I will gladly turn the table around with you.
Hello. Welcome to our hotel. What can I do for you? A while ago, my friend stayed at the hotel. He said there was a party. There we lost the family relic, the old watch. He had to leave for some important issues and asked me to help him in such thankless task as looking for the lost thing. Could you help me? How? My friend has left me a list of guests who were his acquaintances that evening. He said he was on good terms with them and maybe someone picked up the watch and returned it for a ward. Are those people at the hotel now? I'm afraid I can't help you. We're not allowed to disclose information about our clients. Sorry. But my friend will generously pay for any help. There was a party at the hotel, indeed. Some of the guests are still here. I will engage a room at the hotel. I'd like to get to know them better. Could you tell me who else was at the party? Unfortunately, I can't. It was not my shift, and I came here after it had just finished. There was a perfect mess. How often do you have parties like this? Of course, we try to satisfy our clients as best we can. Moreover, it's a good opportunity to make new acquaintances. I have a feeling that the prisoner is not on the list, and most probably, he is not at the hotel as well. But I should check all the variants. I should see the room of the victim. Hello? They say there was an excellent party, not so far. That's true. Yeah, it's expensive rum. They rarely order it. Only several people ask for it during that party. The more so, the whole bottle. Can you tell me if you noticed something unusual during the party? Were there any suspicious people you hadn't met before? I meet hundreds of people every day. It's impossible to remember them all. But there was a strange person. He stays at room 414. He ordered nothing during the whole evening, but he suspiciously looked around. It felt like he was scared. Well, thank you.
Who, 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 who are you? What do you want from me? I know who you are. You're a private detective. Why are you following me? I investigate the poisoning and death of my client. He is not the only one, and they tried to poison me as well. Who are you? My name is Noah. I'm an antique dealer. They didn't just try to poison me. They threatened to kill me and didn't demand anything. My alertness saved my life. Someone aimfully poisons sellers, but what for? Do you suspect anyone? I was trying to understand who had done it, but I didn't succeed. I looked closely at the bartender for the whole party, trying to see if he put something into the drinks. It was in vain, but I'd like to help you as much as I can, because it's all about my life as well. Sorry for my cautiousness. You know, I found another trader who had been killed. I guess that these murders are bound into a system. The word Samdi was written where I found him. I had heard this word before they put poison into my food. It was a miracle that I noticed it, and they phoned me and I whispered it. You said that they were trying to poison you. How did you save yourself? I know. I was a cook in the past. I know exactly what my favorite dishes should contain and what they should not. Excuse me, I'm going to take a cold shower and leave this place. Sandy, what does it mean? What is going on in this damn city? Now I am the prime suspect in all these murders. It makes things more complicated. But I must find the truth. Perhaps the lieutenant's death is also connected with it. I will find the truth. I always find it. Hello, Doc. You must have heard what's happened. Of course. Don't you think that I... I know it was not you. Someone set you up. Seriously. We will deal with it. Sandy. This strange word is following me up in this case. Sandy? It may be connected with Baron Samdi. What are you talking about? Baron Samdi is a lower of the dead in ancient voodoo religion. I suppose that someone uses his pseudonym. A sect? Perhaps, but it can be a person as well. I saw something strange, Chris. When I came to the antique dealer, I saw the will to live in his eyes. After that, I found him dead in the bathroom. You know, there is nothing more terrible than death, but it's expectation. It is so terrible that people go crazy. That's not the point, I'm afraid. Someone throws dust in my eyes. It's quite possible. Well, your job turned to your personal business. Although, I didn't want it. I've already prepared the study for you. 
I bought everything you need here from your flat. I'm sure they watch it. I can't go back there. Thank you. There is a chance that a sect interfered with people's minds. It can be checked easily in a psychiatric hospital. They won't discuss it with me, but I could find a loophole. Our city is full of gangs, and they could possibly help me. Not for free, of course. There has not been a day in my life when the city hasn't fallen deeper. It seems that demons are filling it and only gargoyles and ancient rotten walls protect us. Sometimes it feels like they've changed their places. Maybe while we are asleep, they guard the last spot. The old industrial zone. One day, it was a developed part of the city. People were hurrying for their jobs. Plants were working day and night. After a division of the world, small enough already, the industry of the grey zone became neglected. Today, it is a home for outcasts, drug addicts, and the homeless live here. But it is also a retreat for one of the largest gangs in the country. I must be extremely careful in it. 